In the video today, I want to discuss about the reflectance. Um, what is reflectance lighting? What reflectance means? And why is lighting reflectance important? For example, uh, when you establish a lighting design, the reflectance is very important uh, because when you choose a more reflective paint, you can reduce the number of light fixtures and improve the overall uniformity of light. So that's why by choosing um, or have establishing the lighting design with a, a low reflectance of the walls, ceiling and floor, then you need more lighting fixtures to achieve the, the light level. And before we dive into the lighting calculation in dialogues, I want to show you as well uh, what the norms, for example, characterize of reflectance scenarios. So we have three scenarios, uh, which includes the wall, ceiling, the floor. So we have a low reflectance when we speak about the walls, 50%, ceiling, 70, floor, 20%. Then we move to re medium reflectance, which is 65, 80, and 30. And high reflectance, we say walls 80% on the ceiling, 90 and floor 40%. These reflective properties are based upon the lighting uh, standard uh, 124064 per one and is recommended uh, for all the indoor workplaces as presented below for the ceiling between 0709, walls 0508 and floor 0204. Of course, all these values are being included by default in the uh, Dialogues software, but nevertheless, we can overwrite uh, these values based on the, the reflectors of the materials, um, paint, for example, which is used on the, on the, into that space that we want to establish the lighting design. So for example, we have in this amphitheater, the following reflectors on the walls, we have uh, zero, 16 percent, so it's very low. I would say on the on the ceiling we have 80 percent, so that's a, a high reflectance, and floor 84 percent. And yeah, and here on the walls very low on 60 percent. Well, <clears throat> with this level of reflectance, we have achieved a lux level of 529. So now I want to show you a concrete example by changes the, the right reflectance, for example, on the, on the, on the, I will start with the walls. Let's, let's do it like this. Here we have the select. You can choose by, you have two catalogs, materials or color. I will just choose the easiest way. I will go for um, for the for the color catalog here. You can choose, for example, different colors, different ones of orange, red, violet, blue, and so on. Of course, we will go, let's say, with a sixty-eight value on the on the walls, and then I will just apply this value. For example, now we have it on the walls, another one, 68, as you have seen it, all the walls, and let's start a lighting calculation just to see the difference, moving from 60%, what we had it previously, to a value of uh, 68%. Um, I expect to be more than 100, just let's say 100 lux level, uh, maybe uh, the difference between all design, let's let's say like this, and then you are, oh wow, it's even bigger. <laughs> My assumption was quite wrong. So with this value, we have 805. So we move almost 300 lux for 529, which was previously to 805. So in this case, which an Afitata should be a, a 500 lux level, you need to, we need to establish for the um, to fulfill the requirements from the norm to 800. So definitely, if I will have this reflectance and not the previous one, uh, then I need to reduce uh, the luminaires used for this uh, lighting solution. So that, I think it's a very important lesson to know and consider uh, the reflectance of surfaces uh, for uh, a lighting design, because as you can see, it can reduce drastically uh, the 
number of lighting fixtures, which in the end it affects also the, the energy consumption and yeah, also the final price that you need to pay for for the for the lighting fixtures. So hope that you find inform and this information um, helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channels my channel to find out more about the lighting design and give a like to this video. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.